In non-parametric tests, sometimes our primary objective is to compare the populations for their population parameter, that is the population mean. But there are certain parametric tests where we need to test that whether the variances of the samples or of the populations are they identical or they are different from each other. One of the tests of this type is the independent sample t-test. So students, in independent sample t-test, one of the primary assumption that we'll have to test is that whether the population variances are equal. So usually we uh, meet this objective by employing the f-test. So f-test is used to compare that whether the population variances that are assumed to be drawn from the normal population that are being checked as that whether they are identical or they are different from each other. So students, we cannot apply the independent sample t-test unless otherwise we check this assumption of homogeneity of variances. But the problem with the parametric test is that sometimes the uh, distributions or the samples that are being drawn from various populations that may be uh, non-normal or they are heterosedastic in nature. So in those cases, we cannot employ the F-test. Then there are uh, two types of non-parametric tests that we can em employ for testing the equality or the homogeneity of variances. One of them is known as the scared rank test. So students, uh, when several populations are to be compared on the basis of the median rather than the mean, because we assume that the population from which the samples are being taken, that may not be normal. So we have such test uh, that is also a non-parametric test. It is known as the Bartlett test. Bartlett test may also be used to test the variances of the populations, but the Bartlett test is uh, usually affected by the outliers. Uh, so, uh, basically, this test is good enough in testing the equality of the variances, but we uh, usually would be looking for the alternate of that test when we assume that our uh, sample data might have a certain kind of outliers. So, when our primary objective is to compare the dispersion, equality of dispersions instead of the location, then Kunover in 1981 developed a non-parametric alternative of the Levine's test. Uh, students, the Levine's test is also one of the non-parametric tests that we can use to test the equality of dispersion parameters. Uh, Levine's parameter uh, is a, a better version of Bartlett's test when the populations are non-normal. So we are going to uh, make use of the test, non-parametric test, scale rank test for variances that was developed uh, by Canova. So in order to test our H0, that our variance, which is being defined as expected value of X minus mu X whole square, that whether it is equal to the variance of Y, that is being defined as expected value of YJ minus mu Y whole square where the sum of scale of deviations are to be calculated from two independent samples. So as students, we are assuming that X is being drawn from a one sample, whereas Y is being drawn from another independent sample. So they are independent of each other. Further, we uh, assign ranks and then finally, we calculate the sum of the ranks uh, for the xi minus mu x whole square and that will be used as our test statistics. Students, when we have two samples, we will combine rank assign karenge. And assuming that both of the samples are get together and then we'll be assigning them the ranks. Finally, we'll be calculating the sum of the ranks for x uh, minus mu x whole square 
and that will be used as a test statistic. To use the scaled rank test for variances, the data must consist of two independent samples. They are being randomly drawn from two different uh, populations where x's are being drawn from population 1 and y1, y2, so on up to ym. It is a sample of size m that is to be drawn from another population that is population 2. So, students, uske baad hum convert karenge xi or yj ko to its absolute deviation where ui is xi minus mu1 modulus where mu1 is the mean of the first population and vj is being calculated as the deviation that is being taken of yj from mu2 where mu2 is the mean of the second population. So, students, sometimes mu1 and mu2 might not be known to us. So, we will be using their estimators x bar and y bar that will be calculated from the samples. Now, the assumptions that we make for uh, testing the scale rank test for equality of variances, eh, they are number one, both samples are random and they are being drawn from various populations. In addition to this assumption, independence within each sample would be required. So, there is, they, there is exp an expectation that mutual independence would exist between the two samples. And finally, the measurement scale uh, is expected to be at least interval. Now, the procedure that we follow would be that we can uh, test the equality of variances or we can test them in a relationship of less than and greater than. Uh, the procedure that we need to follow is that we assign the ranks uh, 1 to n plus m. That means we need to combine both of the samples and then we would be assigning them the ranks uh, uh, finally to the u's and v's. So, if several values of u and or v are tying with each other, then we'll be assigning average of the ranks to the tied observations. Further, we let our ui and our vj, they denote the ranks and average ranks that are being calculated by assigning ranks, combined ranks to u's and v's. And finally, students, we will be calculating uh, the u's and v's that are being ranked. There, some of the ranks are being calculated. And finally, the sum of the ranks, whole square, and they will be that column that you have made for the sum of the ranks. Finally, you have scared them. Summing over this column, you will be getting the value of t, that is a test statistic. Finally, uh, if we have ties that will be present in both of the samples, then we need to calculate T1 and uh, T1 will be calculated on the basis of T minus NR bar square divided by the standard error, where R bar square is being shown that will be calculated on the basis of the sum of the squared of the ranks divided by capital N, that means size of the entire population. So, capital N is the sum of the two sample sizes where R bar square represent the average of the scared rank of the combined samples and summation R I4 represent the sum of the ranks raised to the fourth power which will be calculated by raising the fourth power to sum of the ranks and finally these uh, T's will be uh, tested against their uh, critical regions. So, for a two-tailed test students Reject H0 if T is greater than its 1 minus alpha by 2 quantile or less than its alpha by 2 quantile. And for a load uh, tail test, reject H0 if T is less than alpha quantile. And similarly, for an upper tail test, reject H0 if our T is greater than 1 minus alpha quantile. So, this is the required procedure for testing the equality of variances using the scared rank test.